What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,030 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Um, I received some channelings in, so I'm going to deliver them. This is Daily Tea for 4-6-2022. Um, of course, you know, everybody's on different time of life paths. So even though this is the Daily Tea, it's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. It could resonate outside the 72 hour time, 72 hour time frame. Just let everybody know. Okay. I want to say real quick before we get into it, um, for those of you that don't know, just, um, Maybe this is helpful for helpful for somebody. Um, tax day for the United States, the uh, last day for tax day, is actually April 18th this year. It's not April 15th for everybody that doesn't know that. So just to let you know, um, just to let you know. Okay. Um, Free general collective reading, so it's very, very, very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, everybody's on different time of life paths, and so it's important to only take the messages that resonate with you, okay, and leave the rest. Okay, so the channel message I received, well, several of them, but the messages I received were, um, someone's sister is about to be arrested soon for no free willingly knowing about incest in their family and not reporting it, um, knowing it was going on. That's what I heard. That was the first one. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates through many shocking series of chain events, too. That was in there, too. Through many shocking series of chain events. So somebody's sister knows there's some kind of incest going on in their family or somebody they're connected to's family is what I'm taking from that. Um, and it sounds like they're free willingly allowing it, which, um, and I heard child abuse in there too, which it is child abuse. It is child abuse. Just let everybody know. It is child abuse. When you know there's incest going on with minors in your family or anybody's family, 17 or below, and you didn't report it to somebody, the police, child protective services, or anybody that can help the situation, get the child out of the home or the living situation or whoever is abusing them. That is a pedophile over the age of 18, whether it's their own family member or somebody connected to them. That is child abuse. So I'm presuming that's probably what they're going to be charged on because I heard they're going to be arrested. So I'm assuming they're probably going to be charged on child abuse. Uh, I'm assuming. I didn't hear what they're going to be charged on, but that's what I'm assuming. But you plug it in how it resonates. But it's somebody's sister. So it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's sister is about to be arrested because they have known about this um pedophilia they don't about this incest and they basically have done nothing about it they've allowed it to go on with the minor child and some kind of pedophile energy whether the pedophile is actually a family member of theirs or not that was the first one the second one i heard um oh crap hold on oh yeah um a public employee public service employee i heard a public service employee is about to lose their job soon and um because of knowingly knowing about incest we're all about incest in here today which is disgusting but it's the truth um knowingly knowing about incest in a particular family um heard they're about to lose their job and uh, they're going to be rep reprimanded and a very, very, very large fine and many shocking negative series of chain events will occur. That was the second one. So some kind of public service employee. Now, to me, that could span a million different ways for a million different people. Um, some kind of public service employee. So I'm assuming they probably work for the federal government or they work for the state in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever state or federal government they work for. But, it, and I say that because it's public service employee. Well, public service employees are either federal or state from my assumption, from what I know. So I'm assuming they either work for the state or they um, work for the, the, the government in some shape, form, or fashion. But um, I heard they're about to lose their job. They're about, so they're about to lose their job. Um, because they free they have they have known about some kind of incest in the family. It doesn't sound like 
for some, it could be their family, but I'm not thinking it is. I think it's somebody else's family. I'm thinking they might be a counselor, a social worker, um, or a guardian ad litem, or a child protective service worker, uh, which would child protective service worker would probably be a social worker. Um, but you plug it in how that resonates. Um, these are professional people here. Um, all these people are professional, very professional people, but I don't care if you're professional licenses, um, certifications, et cetera, et cetera. You sh that's child abuse. That is child abuse. When you free willingly know about incest in a family, and I don't feel it's their families. I don't feel it's their families. I feel it's something in their work situation they know about, but they're keeping their mouth shut or they have kept their mouth shut. But it sounds like the information leak has already gotten out or it's about to get out to the right people. And um, it's about to create change there is what I'm feeling, like 555 change energy, which thank God, get the child out of the toxic situation, child or children out of the toxic situation. Absolutely. freaking lutely That is so disgusting. Incest is disgusting and it's not appropriate. It is child abuse. For anybody who doesn't know, it is child abuse, period, point blank. It's child abuse. Um, but I heard they're going to lose their job and um, incur some kind of very, very, very large fine in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever this public service employee is. I told you the ones I think it could be, but it really, it really could be any kind of public service employee, I'm feeling state or government level. Um, it's someone that works with children, I'll tell you that. It's someone that works with children, whoever this person is, masculine or feminine, however that plugs in. But they shouldn't have kept their mouth shut on it. They should have helped the child or children, period. Period, point blank. I'm serious about that. And then um, the other one, hold on a second. I forget the other one. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So the third one I heard was a lawyer is about to really, really, really step up in a very positive sense. And they are about to deliver um, some very shocking information they know to help um, to help a family, is what I heard. It's going to create many negative series of chain of events, tower moments for, um, for criminals, is what I heard. Now, that's very broad, but you plug it in however it resonates. So, some kind of, you know, the other day I did a reading, it was kind of dirty lawyer energy, sleeping with somebody, and they took a cut of somebody's stolen inheritance, basically, was that reading. Um, one of the messages in there, which is so gross and so nasty, and I hope those people get caught, and I hope they have to pay the money back, and I'm serious about that. Um, but this is a positive lawyer message. Um, whoever you are, sir, are, sir or ma'am, maybe you watch my channel. There's a reason I'm drawing it in. So maybe you watch or maybe somebody you're connected to watches. But um, kudos to whoever this is, because this is positive lawyer energy. This is a dirty lawyer energy. So thank goodness for that. I heard a lawyer. Um, I'm just presuming you're light side, sir or ma'am, whoever you are. I heard um, you, it sounds like you've either learned the information on this family or you're about to, however that resonates and plugs in one's life. Um, everybody's on a different time life ties, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, you've either learned some information on a family or you're about to. And I heard it's, um, you're going to deliver it. I heard to the right people, to the right people. I don't, in, in this situation, in message three, it's either your client or somebody else's client. I didn't hear it was specifically your client or clients. It could be for some of you guys. For some, it could not be. I mean, maybe you just want to help the situation, however that resonates. But um, but you know some very, very, very useful information. Whoever you are, you know some useful, it's like deep, dark, dooku information is what I'm feeling. Um, whether they're your client or not your client. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard you're about to deliver it, positive light side lawyer here, to the right people. And it's going to create positive series of chain of events. Um, for the family, um, I guess that you're about to deliver this information on, and then negative series of chain of events for criminals. So there was some kind of there's some kind of criminal activity, or was some kind of criminal activity, 
it sounds like against this family, but you're about to help. It sounds like with Libra and energy and balance of scales. Now you could have Libra in your chart or not have Libra in your chart, but you are about to exhibit Libra and energy to help balance the scales for this family. Everybody exhibits all the signs energies from time to time. In this case, positive light side lawyer, you are exhibiting Libra and energy, whether you're a Libra or not. Whoever you are, however this applies. Um, it's really beautiful energy. I'm just saying that third one. A lot of incest in here. And then number three was really great. So you plug it in. How that resonates, if it resonates in one's life. We have poverty on the bottom of the deck. Number 37 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 37, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 37, poverty. Someone was intentionally placing blocks on a family to leave them in poverty. However, the blocks have been lifted and through many shocking series of shame events, this family will be re reunited. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's, well, this is beautiful. I, the first couple messages were very, honestly, depressing. They were very depressing and um, sad. It's sad. Um, and I don't care what anybody says, incest is child abuse, period. It is. It's child abuse. If you logically think about it, it is child abuse. And that's just the truth. I heard um, someone was intentionally putting blocks on a family to um, leave them in poverty, basically. Uh, through, but through many shocking series of chain of events, the blocks have been lifted um, and it, the family will be re reunited soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This could be you or somebody you're connected to, however this plugs in one's life. But there were intentional blocks put here to leave the family intentionally in poverty. I mean, they intentionally wanted to leave a family in poverty. Whoever these people are and however it applies, could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody really, they and they did put blocks. It sounds like they were successful and they did put blocks. Now, the blocks could go a million different ways for a million different people. It could be wrongful terminations. It could be um, getting stuck in the legal system and getting stuck in the system, period, and having to pay out and pay out and pay out and pay out. And, you know, that money you could have spent on vacations or the money you could have spent on your child's school or educational activities or sports activities or, um, or fixing up your home or getting your kids through furniture or what have you was getting spent on these people trying to suck your energy, time, and money. But I heard the blocks have been lifted and basically the many shocking series of chain events, the family will be re reunited soon. So the family has been separated in some shape, form or fashion, um, probably through the legal system is what I'm presuming here. Um, it could be foster care. It could be um, change of custody. It could be temporary change of custody. However, that spans in one's life, but there has been separation where there once was not separation. However, that applies in one situation in one's life. But I heard they have been lifted. Um, for some, they could be lifted soon. Whoever this is for, it sounds like they've been lifted. For some, they could be lifted soon, possibly. And then through many shocking series of chain events, it sounds like the family hasn't been reunited yet, but they will be. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So poverty, this is the people intentionally placing blocks on the family to leave them poor, leave them impoverished, leave them... Um, it's like a control tactic with money, basically. It's like a control tactic with money is exactly what this is. It's really sad, but it sounds like balance is a universal justice and universal balance is about to come into play. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates in one's life. Spirit messages, okay. Main female, wealthy man reverse. Number two or 13 could be very significant numbers in one's life, two or 13. 
It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible child of you or somebody you're connected to, uh, a lot of children, ancestral children energy in here. So for some, the two or 13 could be ages of these children that were abused by incest possibly um, or not, but um, two, or, two or 13 is very significant to somebody possibly, uh, possible age, possible uh, date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, two or 13. I also just heard 222. Now 222 is basically a fresh start, a new beginning. Um, time, um, it's fresh starts and new beginnings basically, 222 is. Angel number 222. So you can Google angel number 222 if you're not uh, familiar, but basically it's uh, fresh starts and new beginnings um, after some kind of change in energy. Main female. There are many shocking series of chain of events. A feminine energy is about to get her kids back. It's been a long time coming. She truly deserves it. Okay. Her through many shocking series of chain of events. Um, a feminine energy is about to get her kids back. I heard it's been a long time coming. So maybe this is you, Fem Energy, about to get your kids back, um, or somebody you're connected to helping you get your kids back. Maybe they're a Fem Energy or a masculine that takes on heavy Fem, and maybe they're in their emotions and their feelings, and they care about this situation, and they're pulling up as main female to help you get your kids back, possibly. I feel it could be dual energy. It can go both ways, possibly. So I feel this is either you, feminine Energy, about to get your kids back. Um, I heard you truly deserve it. Or a masculine energy, which is your main male, but he's pulling up his main female because he cares about this situation. He knows you truly deserve your kids back and he's about to help you get them back. He's just pulling up his feminine energy because he, he cares about the situation and uh, he knows you deserve it too, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard through many shocking series. It hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet in, in the universe, but it sounds like it's about to. So you plug it in, how it resonates, whoever you are, feminine energy. That's really beautiful, however that resonates. And then um, wealthy man reverse. Through many shocking series of chain of events, a pedophile is about to be jailed soon. A masculine energy pedophile. He's going to try to play victim, but everybody knows the truth. Heavy incest here. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. We have a lot of pedophile energy about to go to jail. Some of these people know, knew, uh, there's a sister about to go to jail. So my sister is about to go to jail because they know about pedophile energy and incest and they're just allowing it to happen, which is so disgusting. Um, and then we have masculine energies about to go to jail. It sounds like they are the pedophiles. Um, it sounds like they are the ones abusing minor children is exactly what it sounds like. Um, I heard they never thought they would go. They never thought they would basically get caught, um, but they are about to get caught. So through some kind of mini shocking series of chain events, maybe for some of these situations, the sister energy is going to, after her ass gets caught, she outs him. Maybe for some of these situations, it's her brother, her father, her uncle, her grandfather, or somebody she knows that is a pedophile. But it sounds like some of these situations, the sister is going to get caught for being an accessory, basically, to knowing child abuse of pedophiles. But somehow a masculine pedophile, because I heard he, is about to get caught. I think he is actually the child abuser. 
the actual pedophile. Um, wow. And it sounds like it's at least two in the universe. I heard they, um, he never thought he would get caught. He never thought he would get caught. And it sounds like when he gets arrested, um, he's going to try to play big victim mentality, victim mentality. But I heard basically people know the truth. So it sounds like the officers, you know, they know the truth. It sounds like going in there, arresting this masculine energy. And I did hear him. So it is a masculine energy. Um, and so uh, he's, He's pulling up his wealthy man reverse. So I'm assuming he is not, he's not a big wig in the community. He's um, like a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, or somebody very high or affluent in the community um, is what I'm presuming here. I'm feeling he does not make a lot of money or he has made poor choices to where he's poor. However, that resonates. Maybe one time he did make a lot of money, possibly for some of them, but he's pulling up his wealthy man reverse. So he either has made horrible choices in the financial department or he never has made much money. However, that resonates. But I don't care how much money you make. I don't care if you make five mil a year or five dollars a year. You shouldn't abuse and mind control children to get in their pants. I don't care if it's putting your hands down somebody's pants, touching, or insertion. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. So I'm glad their ass is about to get arrested. And I'm serious about that. And in some of these situations, I feel the main female could have been the sister that knew, and that was the, basically the accomplice, and knew. Maybe in some of these situations, it's her brother about to go to jail. Her ass is about to get caught as an accomplice. And it's her brother about to go to jail in some of these situations. And I'm serious about that in some of these situations. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And then we have house on the bottom of the deck um, below that. So some nasty pedophile energy going on in a home, basically. Um, behind closed doors with no hidden cameras. Because these people obviously would not place hidden cameras. These are the type of people that would watch hidden cameras through other people's homes. Not have them in their own homes. So they can do nasty, shifty, disgusting things to other people. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious about that. These are the type of people I feel would be scanning their homes like on a freaking daily basis or weekly basis just to make sure they don't have anything funky going on in their home so they can do crazy, nasty, shifty things to children. Um, but all the while, they might be on the damn dark web viewing in voyeur cams through other people's home cam uh, homes. I mean, pedophile energy is strong here, and I'm just being for real, for real. So you plug it in how it resonates. Someone's family member is about to completely separate from them after these events occur. Completely separate. Into a higher vibration. And they, they have come to a huge wake-up call and realize the past was wrong in a huge way. Once these family members get arrested, they are going to separate themselves from these people. Some of these situations, it's one family member about to get arrested. For some, it's two plus. Oh, wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So we have high vibrational beings or at least becoming high vibrational beings in here. So this could be you or somebody you're connected to. You could be the family members of these people about to get arrested. In some of these situations, I heard it's one of your family member about to get arrested for some it's two plus. But however that resonates, I heard you realize the past was really, really wrong, basically. You realized it was really wrong. And maybe for some of you high, vib high vibrational beings, maybe you're about to pro provide information to the police on these pedophiles and ancestral people in your family. However, that plugs in. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody has been in communication, it sounds like already with the police or child protective services or the feds or something, um, regarding some kind of heavy pedophile and criminal activity, basically. And child abuse, which is pedophile energy, touching or molesting or insertion of something on children, which is nasty. Um, but yeah. And um, I heard you realize the past was really, really wrong. So, and once they get arrested, you're about to completely separate yourself away from them. So I think you're going to wash your hands of it. And I think you're going to just let them 
serve their karma in jail or otherwise and let them do the time for the crimes that they have crime or crimes they have done basically whoever you are you could be masculine or feminine energy how that applies in one's life and we have door to personal healing and happiness on the bottom of the deck number 34 could be a very significant number this 34 just pulled up twice in this reading just to let everybody know this is double confirmation for the um, number 34. So I feel 34 is very significant for at least one of you guys out there in my collective or someone that views these videos, how that resonates. Um, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 34. But I think it's going to give you healing and happiness to separate away from these pedophiles and these child abusers. Whoever you are, masculine or femme energy, and I'm serious about that. Fear messages you have reflected. Seven chakra, Archangel Uriel. That's the crown chakra. Number 41 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 41. It could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, um, possible, uh, yeah, 41. Someone's about to use their head and it's about to pay off tremendously. Facts. Providing information on some of these ancestral situations to the right people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard someone's about to um, use their head. So their head or their heart heard facts so you're about to provide fact factual information head over heart energy are to the right people and we're involving some of these ancestral situations um it could be on this public service person that's about to get terminated out of their position state or government employee possibly or it could be on the um, sister that free willingly knows about this ancestral crap or it could be on um the pedophile masculine pedophile or it could be on um there's femme pedophiles too by the way there's femme pedophiles too so in some of these situations the sisters could be the actual pedophile energy just saying i'm not lumping just masculine energies as pedophiles there's femme pedophiles too and there's just the truth um but yeah so however that resonates but um you're about to use your head, your head over your heart energy with your seven chakra, your crown chakra, and you're about to reveal this information, whoever you are and however it applies in one's life. Um, it sounds like to cover your ass and to separate yourself from this nasty situation. This is disgusting. It really is. But you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.